Nothing in the world could possibly be more important. Nothing else matters. Or rather, everything else would matter. Because when you're hot, you have the freedom and liberty to concentrate on the rest of your life. You are hot, so you don't need to take an hour in front of the mirror to look decent. You are hot. You don't have to try to make someone love you. You are hot, so you never have to cry. But when you do, you will look hot doing it. From Lena's story and Lisa Tadeo's Three Women. Three Women, the debut novel from journalist Lisa Tadeo and published by Bloomsbury in 2019, chronicles the lives and appetites of three women and their experience with the men that frustrate and warp them. In each of the women's sections, which are told in alternating chapters, Tadeo drills down into the nuances of female sexuality, feminine identity, and the power dynamic of gender relationships, which, according to The Guardian, takes these stories far from the black and white and into a forensic account of emotional grays. It is likely for this reason that this critic regards Tadeo's work as one of the most accurate reflections of the universal female experience. Following the titular three women, Maggie, Lena, and Sloane, was an equally moving experience for the author of Three Women, literally speaking. To write this book cost Tadeo more than eight years of her own life as she crossed America six times in search of her subjects. Once found, she spent months with each of them, even moving to their towns to be part of their daily lives. And this immersion is apparent in the amount of detail in the book, a work The Guardian refers to as a ly lyrical reportage. Lisa Tadeo herself was born and raised on the east coast of the United States, and much like the women she depicts, she herself is no stranger to tragedy. At 23, her father died unexpectedly, and within the next seven years, she also lost her mother, her aunt, her uncle, and her dog. So I'm always waiting for the other shoe to drop, she says. As a result, she keeps all that is important to her as close as possible. She always travels with her daughter, for example, who is now four. The author asserts that she has never been away from her for a single night since she was born, even while traveling to write the book, for which took her from the East Coast to the Midwest to the South and finally back to the eastern seaboard state of Rhode Island, of which Tadeo writes. In Newport, on Rhode Island's Narragansett Bay, great Georgian houses lie on the rocky coast, and on crowded but lovely streets, summer people buy bluefish pate and cars and lobster from the fish market. Fellow author Dave Eggers praises what Tadeo considers to be a quiet little book, calling it one of the most riveting, assured, and scorchingly original debuts I've ever read. And it is this almost universal positive reception that has gotten three women noticed as a number one New York Times bestseller and as a future television series for the U.S. cable network Showtime. But why not decide for yourself by checking out Three Women from the newly refurbished and newly opened American Library today? <laughs>